Okay, so now that we have uh, app installed, I'm going to use it. I have actually unplugged it in the, so I have to re-enter the pin, and um, and then start the app. Right, so what we have here on the main menu, uh, I just uh, start the cache. It says the app is not genuine, same thing as before. Uh, but uh, open it. Uh, so we're here. Um, you can look at the at the UA so from the device. Currently, it's plugged, but just for power, it's not uh, connected to the application. I haven't launched a uh, wide wallet yet. So if I get get UA, it's it's going to show you like processing Z key because now it's calculating the sublink key. Then. Um, then we can launch uh, Y Wallet. I launch Y Wallet and um, here it is. So this is um, just a regular account that I had before. I don't have anything uh, ledger specific uh, at the moment. Um, so I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for for the keys to be. Uh, well, now we are, it says processing all key. So we are now calculating the orchard key. Okay. So we still have to wait for that. Uh, and um, that shouldn't take too long. All right, so let's go back to our Y wallet in the meantime. I'm just checking that we are synchronized and um, yeah, nothing very really special about this. Still waiting for, yeah, still waiting for the Orchard key. Um, we've got one more block. Okay. Uh, all right, still okay. Okay, now, now it's done. Now it's done and we are Okay, so it's done, and we have, we have our orchard key. The orchard key is really not, not the UA. It's pretty long because it has a transparent sampling and orchard components. So I'm gonna skip through it and press back to return to the main menu. After this, let's go and import the new account so I go to um, why want it and I choose account press the plus button Zcash and let's call this ledger then I'm restoring from uh, restoring an account and I click on import from ledger uh, so this is really fast because the keys are already generated uh, if it was not the case, we would have to wait for the key generation. Then let's take a look at this UA. I want to make sure that we have a full UA. Yeah, we, this one was suspiciously short. Uh, I want a full UA so that I can compare with what the ledger shows. All right, so we have U1. YMX PW3 and uh, NNNJXS. Let's go back to to this device and uh, and choose to show the UA again. And now we can compare what the device shows with what we have on the uh, Y wallet. Uh, YMX PW, YMX PW, and the other one has YMX PW three. Yeah, it's the same thing, and the rim, and the trading part is NNNJX S. So let's go to the last part, uh, and then we can see it's a. Uh, uh, yeah, K N N N J eight X. So we, we are, we indeed have the same key. So this is a verification that you should do, at least once, to make sure that 
uh, the nature is um, is on the right key. All right, so this is good. And now we can we can send us some funds. So I think I actually have already some funds on this ledger on the transparent side. Transparent side don't really have to synchronize because well it's transparent, and it I think I also have some funds in the um, in the shielded pool, but because I have just imported without synchronization, these are not uh, visible. So what I need to do is um, use the the uh, okay so. What I need to do here is to rewind the blockchain a little bit so that I can uh, see the funds that I had it, um, from a few days ago. So I rewind the checkpoint and then choose uh, today is like 29. Let's choose, well, 25, 25th. Okay, so that rewinds four days. This should be enough. And we're just going to synchronize the latest, the last four days. Ah, you can see that the funds are, are recognized. Well, where is the, the ETA? Ah, it's finished anyways. Um, so now that we have synchronized with the blockchain, uh, we can try to make a transfer. I'm going to make a transfer Let's see what can we do. Um, we we'll only have this, so this is orchard. No, this is sapling. So I'm gonna do a full transfer from this. Um, I'm gonna wipe out the entire account. So let's go and grab the address from uh, let's say Z. Let's copy this uh, this address and go back to our ledger to do a full transfer a total sweep um, making a transaction to that count for max amount so this will include the transparent funds and the uh, sampling funds press the um, send button and now we can take a look at uh, this device. It just says the cache is ready. Nothing changed so far. Uh, we have now the uh, privacy, uh, privacy privacy overview, which shows that the transaction has low privacy because I'm using uh, uh, I'm using transparent uh, inputs. Okay, so that's uh, as expected. So we could click on send to continue. All right, so before I do that, I'm going to switch to the um, device view so that you can see what's going on with the device. All right, let's go there and then press send. All right, the send. Now you can see that we're processing the Z out. So the device is calculating the, uh, the, the parameters for the sampling output. Uh, we should have a sampling output and a, yeah, a sampling output and an orchard output. All right, so in the um, for Y wallet, we just have the uh, the message that says uh, payment uh, in progress. This is truncated. Uh, let me scroll it down. You can see the payment is in progress. All right, back to the device. Now it shows me the receiving address, which should be the sampling address for Z. Uh, so I'll go to the I go to uh, I go to this guy to to my wallet, and I can check that the address is indeed uh, the address for Z. So let's, let me switch to Z and check the uh, sampling address. All right, sampling address ends with twenty eight XP to D. Alright, so let's see. Alright, what do we have here? Uh, 28 XP to D. Right? That's indeed the sampling address for account Z. So um, and then I also check the amount, which looks correct. And uh, we'll prove that. 
Okay, so the sampling output is, is approved. And now we are going to the uh, orchard output, which should also go to the same account. So in order to verify that this is indeed the uh, orchard output, I need to go to uh, Z and show it's an uh, orchard receiver. Uh, to show just the orchard receiver, I need to switch the um, uh, the UA to just uh, orchard. So that's uh, this is transparent, and I should have something that ends with NVC and PT. Okay, what do we have on the? Oh, it's still calculating the output. So let's wait for that. All right, what can we do in the meantime? Um, just be patient, I guess. Yeah, still payment in progress. You can see that uh, as the, the, uh, you can switch accounts as this is happening. So the, the operation is multi-threaded and uh, you can we can do other stuff. You, you cannot do another payment at the same time, but you can uh, view your other accounts. Right. Steer or out. The orchard size is um, more compute intensive, so it, it takes longer. All right, so now we have the output. And I wanted to check that the, um, the, the key is the orchard key for account Z. Uh, so what did it say here? It says M, can't see very well, uh, MZUL. MZUL, let's see. Uh, right, so it's really MZUL PT, right? So this is the same guy. So that's cool. And uh, I can approve this. Press the right button. All right, so this is the second part of the address, and then put the amount, right? So I check the amount, still okay, and then approve that. All right, now it shows me the fee, which is a traditional 0 0.01 millisecond, so I'm okay with that too, and then approve that. All right, now it's signing. So it's signing Z. Um, And uh, it's signed T. Signing T was super fast. Uh, we had uh, uh, Z and T. So signature is made and the transaction has been broadcast. So transaction ID is here. So this uh, this transaction is gone is done and the uh, this uh, account is going to be empty. No, not this one, but the um, the source account will be empty. So my ledger will not have any money in there anymore. It's not mine yet, so it's not going to be. Uh, um, actually, yeah. Let's see if it shows. I think it depends on which server I'm connected to. But uh, I think Light Wallet should give me the um, in flight. Uh, the in flight uh, transaction. So I'm restarting this guy. Yeah, so with um, with the other server, I could see the um, the unconfirmed transaction. And now you can see that now it's mine uh, and the amount is zero. It's zero on the sampling side and it should be zero on the, on the transparent side. So everything is zero. If you go to accounts Z, uh, we should have an incoming transaction uh, here in the history. Um, yeah, this one. This one is the one that's coming from the ledger. All right, so this is a, a quick demo of, uh, of so this, this transaction was uh, source uh, sampling and transparent. And destination is a uh, sapling orchard, but you know actually anything can should work.